Hey, welcome back. Uh, tonight, it's been a little while since I've done some recording, and tonight I wanted to answer questions that have just been pouring in. I've been overwhelmed, actually, by the number of questions about, you know, hey, we've been watching these videos on the Entity Framework, on various other technologies, CSLA being a huge one, um, and what's next? You know, when are you going to put another video up, and what's coming? So tonight I want to respond to those and show you what's next on the plate. Uh, what I get a lot is I get a lot of requests to produce videos from what I would call end-to-end -end training and that is take me from the beginning when we create the database to the end when we put out the final product and I just happen to have a need for a reporting uh, software and there's not a good one out there that I particularly like so I'm gonna write one and so I'm gonna document that during this video series now the GUI I put on it. I'm just going to use a Windows Forms. Uh, I may actually use Infragistix or DevExpress, probably DevExpress because I have it. I have them both, but uh, DevExpress I find to be a little bit faster when I'm in a hurry. Uh, so you can use ASP.NET or whatever you want, but I'm going to write it in such a way that it can be used with any uh, GUI that someone would choose to use. It's just a back end data layer and we can go. But the WinForms. Uh, GUI that we put together um, will be what we serve as our primary. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the database here, and what we've got is basically what we do is we submit these reports as a team about what we've been working on. Uh, we all do it, none of us really particularly like it. A lot of times it's in Excel, and that's particularly hard to report on if you're the manager and you've got people sending you 10, 20 Excel documents. It's not a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm going to put this thing out there where my, my people can go out there and, and drop in their reports, and I can run reports and whatever on a centralized location and, and do what I need to do. So the basic requirements here are that you've got a person who has a manager, who is also in the person table like my boss would be in here and I would be the boss of other people you can see how we could build a tree view very quickly and we're tracking first middle and last name phone number email address which also it just happens to be your login and a password last updated by and last updated by last updated date I guess I should say and last updated by uh, none of that's too magical and then report entry the person who entered it the date they entered it, the date the work was actually done, because we all know we put our reports in the same day we do the work. Uh, the project number associated with that report, uh, maybe nothing, that's why we allow nulls. The ticket number, change number, use case number, all of these could be null. Uh, it may be on demand work that someone's doing. Uh, maybe the person who requested the work is in the system and maybe they're not so we're accounting for that uh, description uh, will tell us about the uh, task that you're working on uh, how many hours did you spend on it decimal when's it due uh, is it on schedule notes this would be concerns you know maybe you're behind schedule whatever um, you can put the notes in and then manager notes I can come back with manager notes and flag it for action so it shows up as you know hey you need to take a look at this and maybe I need some more information they need some more information and then uh, was an expected task now this is uh, important because we're trying to differentiate between what was our workload we knew was coming uh, those metrics and then what was the workload that was just kind of dumped on us and being able to track those so that's what that was expected task is for and then the is reviewed uh, is going to be on here and that's where I go through and I review them each week because I have to pass them up to my management uh, who will probably use this tool to review them himself or herself whatever it may be in this case it's a his self uh, so that's the database in a nutshell now I need to put on here uh, one thing I did notice was a last updated date date time and a last updated by just happen to be in the medical field and it is very important that all of that struct 
stuff, and we'll just put get date as our default values. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll move on to the next. I'm going to save that schema change, and we now have a complete database. So that's the database. Uh, that'll be video one here. I'm going to put a link to get the source code for the solution. Uh, I can show you a little bit of that. It's panning out. Uh, the solution, as it were, is called Status Report. It's going to be on the SVN server. Uh, it's going to be Entity Framework 6. Point, I believe around 0 0.2 right now. Uh, if something newer comes out during the development, uh, which on this won't take very long because I've got to hurry through it, but uh, 6.0.2 and then for the entity framework and then for the front end like I said we'll use a WinForms uh, front end to divvy out the data so I will put in the notes where you can get this uh, solution the login and password will both be CHI Charlie Hotel Indigo lowercase uh, feel free to download it I'll be updating it daily uh, tomorrow I'll get probably quite a bit done in the evening hours of Sunday uh, and then I'll try to put videos up. I'm going to break it up into pieces like when we do the Entity Framework project that'll be its own video. When we customize the Entity Framework business objects that'll be its own video. When we uh, put the GUI uh, framework together that'll be its own video. When we plug them together that'll be its own video. Uh, so this is going to be a as you can see a pretty pretty good series of videos and then we'll cover deployment too uh, when these deployments go out and these videos go out uh, there will be a fully functioning app out there and I may even put the data endpoints and stuff like that up so that you can connect to a central server and, and demo the app um, but with the source code you'll be able to do everything you need uh, to use this application so Hopefully you find it educational. Uh, it's been asked a lot, and uh, I'm happy to do it. It just so happens I have a need to do it. So we've moved it forward, and we're going to go ahead and make it happen. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll try to get this video out tonight. And tomorrow we'll try to get another video out where we do the Entity Framework, and we'll build our model. And if you have any comments or posts, please subscribe, leave your comments. And as always, thanks for stopping by.